ongoing presidential election tribunal is Robert Clark. He's a senior advocate of Nigeria. He's an elder statesman. He's been on the Arise channel multiple times in the past to give us his deep wisdom on these matters. So let's cross live to him right now. Uh, good morning, sir. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Um, I take it you have Rosa Sodiri here, Arise News. Uh, I take it you've been following the proceedings. We've already got one petition of this presidential election petition tribunal. One petition struck down. What do you make of what you've heard so far, sir? Well, it is not um, a surprise to many of us, but also we've learned a lot that from what has happened now, there is necessarily going to be an appeal to the Supreme Court on this matter. Because many, many issues have been raised in this ruling that needs more clarification to either of the parties in this litigation. I am of the view that this particular point of law that has just been adjudged upon is necessarily going to be a point of appeal to the Supreme Court. And I look forward to this point being raised so as to finally settle that area of law that is still lingering over the question of double nomination. It is very exciting, it is very illuminating that it, these issues have been taken up previously before the Supreme Court. And as the learned justice in, in the present uh, tribunal are saying, they are bound by the Supreme Court judgment on this particular ruling. And as such, it is uh, going to be an interesting appeal. And uh, I will hopefully think that either parties to this litigation can still have a hope that uh, when the matter goes up to the Supreme Court, the matter will be revisited in a more you know, illuminating manner to some of our listeners who are yet <coughs> to feel the impact of the judgment. Because this is not the final judgment. This is just a preliminary part of the judgment. That is my view that there's still a lot to be had on this matter at the Supreme Court. And I look forward to either of the parties going to the Supreme Court in this matter. Thank you. Okay, but I, I, so I, I do want to read what they said again because if you're if you're saying you're saying that the there's not enough satisfaction in what the uh, the, the presidential election uh, petition um, what the judges have said just to read it out in the lead judgments read by the chair justice Haruna uh, Tasmani. The court stated that the issue of nomination of a candidate is solely a pre-election matter that should be determined by the federal high courts, meaning the election petition tribunal lacks jurisdiction to do so. It also stated that the nomination by substitution, as in the case of Kabir Masari and Shetima, is solely a pre-election matter and only an aspirant in the party primary can challenge that. The court therefore stressed that no political party has the right to challenge the mode of nomination of a candidate in another party except in line with the provisions of Section 131 and 137 of the Constitution. So you're saying that that is not satisfactory and should be elevated further to the Supreme Court. So you're, you're, you're saying that there, there's room for appeal despite this. It sounds pretty clear as far as the pre, it being a pre-election matter. On the face of it, it is very clear to everybody that this is a pre-election matter and the court has no jurisdiction to look into it since the Supreme Court has already litigated and given decisions on this line of argument. So I am on all fours with the court. I agree with the tribunal that this is a pre-election matter and cannot be handled by this tribunal because by law, the electoral act upon which the tribunal is acting upon only allows this tribunal to look into the conduct of an election and not to look at matters that are not part of the election procedure. So there is no problem. But what I am saying is that there are two sides to a coin. In this matter, 
the litigants who have, have gotten the judgment of the tribunal now can still have to look forward to the Supreme Court whether this matter is a pre-election matter or not. What I'm saying is, not, is that the tribunal is correct. The judgment of the tribunal is good. I have no hesitation in saying that I accept the judgment of the tribunal. But what I am saying is there are two sides to the coin. I am not part of the coin. What I am saying is my own opinion that I, Robert Clark, I accept the judgment as a true and correct judgment. But what I'm saying is that by virtue of the provisions of our own law under the Constitution, either of the parties may wish to appeal. And this is why I say that this matter will still wait another jurisdictional trial by the, by the Supreme Court. But as far as this judgment is concerned, I agree with it. I accept that this matter is a pre-election matter. And the tribunal, uh, the tribunal as it is today has no jurisdictional power to try and look into it. Thank you. Crystal Clare. Crystal, Crystal Clare. So this is why we have you on the show to make these matters uh, more you know, known to everyone. So everybody, I clear understanding. Thank you, sir. Uh, Robert Clark, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Elder Statement. We actually have to go back to the courtroom now. They've come back from their break. So we go back to Abuja to continue with this uh, presidential election petition uh, tribunal. So thank you so much, sir.